Yes, that's it. A young and handsome peasant's daughter, she seizes me. What are you doing here in the middle of nowhere? Ah, a visitor for Chad the Bewilderer, the most radiant and rakish riddler. Do you have the wits to best me? There is cake in it if you do. For cake? I will answer any mind tease you have for me. My head is forged with the hammer, hurt with sharp tools, smoothed by files. I take in my mouth what is set before me. Iron is forged with tools, and a keyhole could be the mouth of a door. A lock and key? Wonderful! Your wit sparkles! But still, another one. I saw a strange thing, wonderful of shape, singing in a tavern. Its beak underneath stood upon splayed legs that cannot walk. Something that sings. A musical instrument. The bladder that winds and wheezes through pipes. Backpipes. Very good! A tricky one that few but the sharpest needles can sew. Now, the final test. With my roof of tears, I am driven far and wide on my avenging path. When I shake the forest, I rumble the fruit from the trees. Rain covers the earth like a roof. And the rumble of thunder and lightning can shake acorns from a branch. A storm. You are brighter than the sky, Lantern. Your wit outshone my words, and such a feat deserves three cakes. But unfortunately, I do not have any. So the cake was a lie? Do not pout. Have a reward much more worthy of your talents. Goodbye, Chad. Your riddles were a fun diversion. Stay a while. Read some more of my scribblings. I do not get many visitors. Your presence sparked my mind. A rare thing out here. Drop the 
Set the mask off! Need to row our way out. Sail is ready when needed. Run up the sail! sail.
Can't do this alone. Yeah. 